To the Academy Awards last night, uh, I'm sure you were riveted to the screen, uh, Sean, given your own starring role once at the Emmys, but um, Donald Trump posted a review online uh, that uh, host Jimmy Kimmel read out to the audience, which confirmed, I would suspect, for every single viewer that Hollywood is left-wing. Here is that exchange. I just got a, a review and... Um... <laughs> Has there ever been a worse host than Jimmy Kimmel at the Oscars? <laughs> His opening was that of a less than average person trying too hard to be something which he is not and never can be. <laughs> Get rid of Kimmel and perhaps replace him with another washed up but cheap ABC talent, George Sloppinopoulos. He would make everybody on stage look bigger, stronger and more glamorous, blah, blah, blah. Make America great again. Thank you, President Trump. Um, <laughs> thank you for watching. I'm surprised you're still watching. Isn't it past your jail time? <laughs> Sean Spicer, your reaction to that? Uh, I wish he wouldn't give them the bait. Um, Look, I, I, first of all, I didn't watch the Oscars. I mean, I don't, I, I, the last thing I want to do is add my one vote uh, by watching it to somehow affirming the, the need to care what Hollywood thinks about themselves. Um, so I, I don't tune into shows like that. Uh, even if it doesn't, it just makes me feel better not to watch it. But secondly, I think the president, you know, gives them something to go off. I wish he wouldn't uh, do it. I get that's who he is. He can't help himself sometimes. But look, it's no surprise that uh, he's a big movie buff, and I'm sure he wanted to see who won. Uh, but, you know, look, Hollywood is owned by the left, as you pointed out. Uh, they hate folks on the right, uh, especially what we stand for. They they suppress content um, of stuff that, that, frankly, does much better than uh, it talks about Sound of Freedom. There's a new movie, Cabrini. Out. All these movies that actually are good, wholesome movies, they suppress. They don't really care about. I, I I'm... I'm glad he called him out to some degree, but I wish he wouldn't he wouldn't give him the, the fodder to do that. It got, cuts across the more presidential tone he's been trying to adopt lately. Yeah, when it comes to that, I think that's long gone. I think Donald Trump's got his own style. It's unique to who he is. Um, <laughs> I think that's why a lot of people love him, because he will do it. But, you know, every once in a while, I feel like you're just giving them what they want. And, and so for that reason... Uh, again, it is who he is. It's how he became the success that he did in politics because he speaks his mind. Uh, but, you know, every once in a while, I just go, you know, don't let them don't let them get the better of you. <laughs> Sean Spicer, no doubt you thought that once uh, more than once when you were his spokesman, uh, making your <laughs> life a bit little, just that little bit harder at the time. Thank you so much for your time here. You bet, Andrew.